Prior to discussing the announcement, it is essential to comprehend what particle accelerators are. The enormous CERN Hadron Collider, also known as the LHC, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets including the largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It symbolizes the highest level of human achievement in science. In point of fact, it is powerful enough to recreate the circumstances of the universe's birth. But could this apparatus be used to unlock the key to the universe's secrets or to something much more terrifying? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the most reputable research institutions with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It functions as a hub for innovation and collaboration. The LHC is the flagship project of CERN, but it's only one component of a huge network of experiments and accelerators. Imagine not a racetrack for horses or cars, but a race for subatomic particles against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that imitates the flow of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The temperatures caused by these collisions are more than a million times hotter than the core of the Sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons as they travel, while complex cooling systems maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The LHC's beams are designed to collide in for places around the ring of the accelerator corresponding to the four particle detectors, ALICE, CMS, ATLAS, and LHCB. Each serves a distinct function, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they are as massive as cameras, which take pictures of these collisions. Afterward, scientists sort through the debris for evidence of the elusive Higgs boson, also referred to as the God Particle, and other phenomena that provide insight into the universe's fundamental building components. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. However, with each response comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It demonstrates human inventiveness and curiosity. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and the need to comprehend the fundamental forces that shape our universe. However, as we push the envelope, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What dangers are there in investigating the unknown? Could our search for understanding accidentally unleash forces we are unable to control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged, sending a chill down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and an authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that is both fascinated and frightened. Cox's remarks reverberate with eerie clarity, the purpose of CERN's Large Hadron Collider, the LHC for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and dark matter, a mysterious substance that is a significant component of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your possession a capacity to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tempting possibility, but one fraught with danger. The compact Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept, within the LHC it is a concrete reality. The conditions, the raw energy, pressures, and temperatures mimic the early universe. It's like being there at the beginning of time, observing the start of existence itself. However, such power comes with responsibility. The question looms, what happens if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong. In 1978, Anatoly Bogorsky, a Russian physicist, suffered a catastrophe that would forever alter his life's course. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a flaw resulted in his head accidentally crossing the path of a proton beam. The forceful beam, beyond comprehension, traveled through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bogorsky's experience was otherworldly. He observed a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning through bone and tissue, yet he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for medical care. The aftermath was both fascinating and horrifying. 
The beam's path led to the death of localized tissue, resulting in partial paralysis of his face and loss of hearing in one ear. Yet, amazingly, Bogorsky's intellectual abilities remained unaltered and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not simply an individual tragedy but a cautionary tale that highlights the enormous power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC are not to be ignored the possibility of unforeseen reactions, the manipulation of the very fabric of space and time. These are not products of science fiction, but real issues voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most alarming and captivating issues is the possibility of the LHC's experiments generating a small black hole. Black holes are places in space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They're cosmic vacuum cleaners, star eaters, and enigmatic entities that lurk in our universe. The notion that the LHC might create such a thing, even on a microscopic level, shocks both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole expand uncontrollably, consuming Earth from within? However, researchers at CERN have ensured that any created black holes would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly. The mere possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of admiration for our power. It's important to understand how the LHC could cause a black hole to form. It begins with the fundamentals of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the enormous amount of energy released alters the structure of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy weight is dropped on it. The fabric flexes, and if the weight is sufficient, it may cause such a severe depression that anything in the vicinity would be drawn in. That's a stylistic metaphor for what could happen in the LHC. In the universe of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are bizarre and beautiful at the same time, there is a theory that additional dimensions may be concealed within reality. If these dimensions exist, they might be tapped into by LHC collisions, creating a funnel of gravitation that forms a tiny black hole. This mysterious motion of particles has even caught the attention of world-famous scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. He warned of a situation in which the Higgs boson might become unstable at very high energy levels. A result of this instability might be catastrophic vacuum decay, a celestial occurrence that would not only destroy Earth but the universe as a whole. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his worries regarding the experiments carried out at CERN. In his book on the prospects for humanity's future, he investigated the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were more than just cautionary, they were tinged with existential dread. He referred to a worst-case scenario in which a doomed experiment might result in a condition known as vacuum instability. In theory, this instability could cause a phase change that would ripple through spacetime's very fabric, causing a global catastrophe that could envelop the universe. Reese's concerns went beyond just theoretical musings. He gave possibility to these disastrous outcomes, though a low one. However, even the tiniest chance, he argued, ought to give us pause. The threats are astronomically large, and the margin for error is so small. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities. Scientists executed experiments and investigated theories to support the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the significance of responsible investigation, understanding that there are many worries and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He emphasized the existence of rigorous safety measures in place, extensive examinations, and procedures that ensure the operations of the LHC are carried out with extreme caution. Cox reassured that the forces at play are within the bounds of what the Earth naturally encounters, and the likelihood of developing a stable black hole is astronomically low. Even if one were created, according to scientists, it would be so tiny and so volatile that it would vanish in a flash of energy, a known phenomenon called Hawking radiation, discovered by Stephen Hawking. It would be a fleeting moment, a glimpse into the abyss of cosmic awe, and then gone. 
Others have gone even further, speculating that the experiments at the LHC could allow access to a different universe or dimension. This idea, however, is largely ignored by the scientific community, though it has piqued the interest of many and has emerged as a topic of awe, apprehension, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we are unable to comprehend? The concept of opening a portal to another realm, even to hell, has been sensationalized in various media, adding fuel to the fire of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be, and what does it imply in the scientific context of exploration? Parallel dimensions are not a new concept in physics. String theory, a strong contender for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the three spatial dimensions and one time dimension we are accustomed to. These additional dimensions might be hidden or compacted away from our perception, but they could theoretically be uncovered or accessed in extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as unlocking doors that have been sealed since before time began. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they might theoretically disrupt the fabric of spacetime with the potential to reveal hidden dimensions. Even though the majority of the scientific community is skeptical of such sensational claims, the very idea of utilizing particle accelerators to uncover the universe's secrets has led to public interest in the potential risks and repercussions of such experiments. In the end, the LHC stands as a powerful symbol of human ambition and curiosity. It is evidence of what we have accomplished in comprehending the universe, but it is also a warning about the dangers this knowledge brings. The universe may be vast, but the more we learn about it, the less we truly comprehend. The search for knowledge is one of humanity's greatest accomplishments, but it is also fraught with uncertainty and peril. Underground Ring and incorporating the most precise and advanced equipment ever built. It brings together a network of scientists and researchers from all over the world, united in their quest to answer some of the most fundamental questions about the cosmos. Nevertheless, as scientists push the boundaries of human knowledge, they face significant obstacles, both ethical and theoretical. Among its primary focuses, the LHC aims to understand the forces that govern the universe. For millennia, researchers have attempted to unravel the complexities of gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. The LHC provides an unprecedented opportunity to study these forces in extreme conditions. Particles colliding at such high energies mimic conditions that existed just moments after the Big Bang, when the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. This allows researchers to probe the behavior of matter and energy in ways that were once thought impossible. However, the capability to use the LHC for groundbreaking discoveries also raises important questions about the boundaries of scientific experimentation. The possibility of discovering new particles, such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. But these discoveries could also have unanticipated effects. There is a rising awareness among some physicists that the experiments performed at the LHC may unlock more than just insights into the universe. They may reveal new forces or dangers that humanity is not yet equipped to handle. Among the most fascinating and unsettling ideas in this regard is the concept of vacuum decay. According to this theory, under certain conditions, the energy produced by particle collisions at the LHC could cause a catastrophic shift in the fabric of spacetime, triggering a chain reaction that may alter the nature of reality as a whole. Although the possibility of this occurring is extremely low, the potential repercussions are so severe that some argue it should be given careful consideration. A vacuum decay event, if it were to happen, could cause the universe as we know it to collapse, resulting in the destruction of all energy and matter within it. Despite the speculative nature of these concerns, the LHC remains a major focus for scientific research. The excitement surrounding the potential for new discoveries often overshadows the apprehensive voices. Thousands of scientists work tirelessly at CERN, driven by a strong desire to uncover the fundamental truths that govern existence. 
Yet, as the LHC operates at the cutting edge of science, the ethical consequences of such powerful experiments remain a topic of ongoing debate. Another area of concern is the potential for creating phenomena that we simply lack the comprehension to understand. The LHC has already demonstrated the capacity to produce exotic particles like the Higgs boson that were previously only theorized. However, 